So De Grazia Gallery in the Sun is a 10-acre a National Historic Landmark, and it's nestled in the foothills of the Santa Catalina Mar- Mountains in Tucson, Arizona. I can say that straight, right, Nancy? Mm-hmm. Uh, and it opened in 1965, <laughs> and it's opened uh, home to over 15,000 originals of Ted De Grazia art pieces, including oil paintings, watercolor, ceramics, and sculptures. And so there's six permanent collections on display, and they rotate different exhibits throughout the year. And that's what we're talking about. Two new exhibits are coming up. We have De Grazia Paints the Jungle and De Grazia Downtown. And we're very excited because the Tucson dude is back on the show. Lance Weber, the executive director of De Grazia Gallery in the Sun, he's joining us here on our Big Blend Radio World Party. Uh, so everyone, go to degrazia.org and check out the gallery. And most importantly, go to the gallery. Tucson dude, how are you? I'm good. How are you, Lisa? Oh, doing good. You know, we're sitting in Little Rock, Arkansas today and overlooking oh, nice. the beautiful Arkansas mm-hmm. River. Miss Nancy is here. She's behaving yeah. herself. Hey, Nancy. No, I'm not. Hi there. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it, it's, uh, it's a beautiful destination, and we've seen lots of art, and we miss you guys. We miss the gallery, miss Tucson. I've been looking online, and it looks like Tucson has had a really epic monsoon season this year. Yeah, epic. We haven't had hardly any rain at all. What? I thought they were having rain and water going down the Rialto, uh, you know, river yeah, and all that. Well, it, it's a little, been a little hit and miss this year. So uh, we actually got oh. some rain yesterday, so it was nice. But, uh, yeah, we haven't had our usual uh, dousing oh. like we usually get. Oh, wow. well, you know, maybe we'll have to send Priscilla our little sock monkey, little travel mascot to go, like, you know. Make it happen, because you know she can. Do a, you know. do a rain dance, yeah. Yeah, she, yeah. She, she's good at that. Hey, listen, Priscilla found a banana plant, a banana tree with <laughs> bananas in Nacogdoches, Texas. And, you know, where she went for the rest of the time while we were out going around and, you know, doing our our work. She hung out in this banana tree the whole time. So she found her home. Nice. Were there bananas in it? Yes. Mm-hmm. And they were wow. green bananas, so and I don't they, want you, you, and they, she the didn't feel very good. Were, there was. There was, and she ate green bananas, it, and she's been there is sick not ever any since. now. <laughs> she took them. Mm-hmm. She ate them all. Well, she's yeah. a monkey. Yep. Yep. Well, now this goes into the new exhibit. De Grazia went into the jungle. I didn't know he painted the jungle, too. So uh, everybody, Ted De Grazia is the most reproduced artist in the world, very famous Arizona artist. Um, but I, this new exhibit, I, had, I knew he went to Mexico and studied under uh, Diego Rivera and Jose Orozco, but I had no idea that um, he also painted the scenery out there. Well, yeah, they went to the jungle to get married. De Grazia and his wife, Marion, uh, in 1947, uh, went down to the Mexican jungle to have their wedding. So that's why they were down there. And um, it was kind of interesting because when he returned, he came back with 37 paintings. So he was busy. Mm. Well, getting married in the jungle. Come on, yeah, baby. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting married in the jungle. <laughs> so when, when does this, this exhibit open? What, September 6th, I was looking. Correct. Correct. Okay. Cool. So the tropic. So did he did he paint the people of Mexico too? Uh, he painted. These are really uh, wild paintings. They're very colorful. Um, they're not typical De Grazia. Uh, they're hmm. there's, uh, they're very thick with a lot of paint. Uh, very very colorful. Uh, you know, there's there's purple cows and blue cows and. And wow. monkeys, and uh, yeah, mm-hmm. it's, it's a very, uh, very different um, set of paintings than uh, uh, you were, you'd be used to with De Grazia. I wonder because you know Mexico, everything is so colorful, all the buildings, everything is you know just bright, cheerful, colorful. Maybe that's what influenced him with the color. Well, uh, the jungle was certainly very lush and uh, they were in the middle of the jungle there's a there's a painting uh that's called the wedding chapel and i guess i'm assuming that's where they got married and uh you know it's this little building out in the middle of the just in the jungle it's it's really really thick lush jungle so um 
You know, the, hmm. the, and I suppose there were some people around, but uh, he painted uh, he painted mostly uh, the jungle. Hmm. And so this maybe is maybe he got a little bit of of libation from the peoples there. Maybe he no? did. Maybe. I wouldn't doubt it. Maybe he smoked a little. And that I'm just saying. Uh, uh, maybe he did that too. <laughs> Who, knows? Who knows? Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? You know. But now this was this was after he studied uh, with uh, Diego and, yes. and Orozco, right? Yes. Yes. And when he studied yes. with them, it was in Mexico City, right? Yes, that's correct. So. What? He, he was, that's where he was down there with his first wife uh, down in Mexico City with Diego, uh, and then he was had been divorced for a couple of years, and uh, Marion came along at 45 or around that time, and they decided to tie the knot in 47 and uh, took a took a road hmm. trip. I went, okay, so did he marry his first wife in Mexico too? That I don't know. I hmm. really don't know where they were married. They were probably married in Tucson uh, hmm. or in Bisbee. Um, you know, that's where uh, her family was from, was from Bisbee, Arizona. Oh, it could have been Yuma because it oh, was I, a wedding capital. I thought Web. you said Disney, like in Disneyland, not Bisbee. Oh, no, <laughs> no, Bisbee. Married in Disneyland. No, Bisbee. I knew that it could be Yuma, Lance. I'm just saying because Yuma is the wedding capital. Well, it was the wedding capital before Vegas was. So I'm just saying. Hey, is that right? I, I didn't know that, but uh, I do know <laughs> that um, uh, Yuma is. A, I, I, want, I don't want to say anything bad about Yuma. You I can't. like Yuma, you but can't. man, it's hot. It it's is a hot, hot place. Let, let me tell you something. It's hot everywhere. The southeast. Nancy and I have been traveling through East Texas and Louisiana, and now we're in Arkansas. <laughs> That's and hot. And tomorrow, 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 we're going to Bourbon Country in, in Central Kentucky. But let me tell you about humidity. Listen, mm. <laughs> Arizona, Yuma, Tucson has nothing compared to the heat of the southeast, okay? You, we're melting as we walk, you know. It's oh, even, yeah, the, the humidity is quite different there. I, I, yeah, I get yeah. that. Yeah, and, you know, and it, it ruins my wine drinking because you take a sip of wine and you sweat it right out. You, I mean, it's just not what right. You tend to drink a lot oh, more. You do drink a lot more. <laughs> And of course, I say completely sober through everything. <laughs> but yeah, but, but, so this is interesting too. So he went from yeah, okay. So he's got these jungles. I want to see this exhibit. We'll have to come through, maybe on our way back, because we're gonna we're gonna come back in the fall. We're gonna circle back around, and uh, we'll have to come to Tucson. We're gonna try to go to Marenzi, and uh, apparently there's a big mining hole or something. Like a big oh man, it's the it's the biggest open pit mine you can imagine. It's huge. Uh, oh. I've actually had the pleasure of seeing taking that tour in Marenzi, and it is just spectacular. That wow. it's the biggest hole in the ground you've ever seen. It's probably two two miles across. Wow! Well, so it's like it's like a giant crater in- on the moon. There's one in South Africa they call the Hrutkrat, which is like the big hole, which was a mining yeah. thing in Kimberley, South Africa. And I'm not sure how big that one was, but that was like, whoa. You're just like, what? Yeah, you're like, really? People did that? And you could go down it, too. They would take you down. And I, I, that freaks me out, man. I don't like yeah. going underground. I'm not Freaking. ready for that. That can come later. Well, this you is know. open pit. This isn't an underground uh, mine. This is open pit. The the big giant trucks, you know, with the big t- tires that uh, you see, you know, they're as big as your house. When you look down, they're like little tiny ants. Uh, it's wow. pretty pretty amazing. And this, everyone, just the Marenzi part. This is up in Arizona, just a little northeast of Tucson. And this it's about is about 200 miles northeast, and that's where DeGrazi was born. Yeah. So now. Did they preserve his house? I mean, can, what what are we going to go to say? Okay, this is where DeGrazia was. Where I don't want to go in the middle of the pit. <laughs> the yeah, no. Pit. Uh, you know, I don't know if his house is there or not. I do know they have a hmm. park named after him, and oh, uh, cool. a few other things uh, at the high school okay. uh, where where uh, you know. Uh, but uh, I never did. See a, a, a plaque or anything on the house, so uh, 
Who knows? We'll go find. We'll it. go investigate. We'll yeah, go, we'll go. go find yeah, actually, the truth out. is, is that they, they, when they, uh, the, the original town of Morency was swallowed up by the pit, so they had to move the town. So where he was, where he was uh, born, it's probably, you know, uh, made into copper now. Wow! So they just dug themselves right out of their homes. Like, they, they just, just digging. yeah, they they dug up the old town. They they just uh, wow. they just swallowed it up. It's like the pit monster. I know. <laughs> yeah, that was a that was a town that was owned by Phelps Dodge. Wow! You see, wow. this is wild. Well, okay, I've, we're going. We'll go check it out, Lance, on our way back to seeing you, because you know we have to do our following in the footsteps of Ted DeGrazi, and apparently now we have to go exactly. to Mexico. We have to go to Mexico City. We've got to go to Oaxaca in the jungle. Okay. Nancy, are you ready? We can do that. Of course. Now, the downtown exhibit, uh, the De Grazia downtown, is this um, scenes of Tucson or are there other cities? Uh, there's uh, there's a lot of different cities. There's uh, He did San Francisco. Oh. Uh, he did New York. Uh, he's got a uh, – yeah, he, he – wherever he was uh, – Whenever he was out of Tucson and he was in a big city, he he actually did downtown scenes, uh, which are also very nice. They're different also for him, but uh, Mm. uh, they're interesting. Mm. You know, like the street sweeper, the guy cleaning the street, Mm. uh, sweeping up, and DeGrazi was painting it. Cool. I like that. That's cool. So the streets, you know, so we have to go to San Francisco again. We can do that, Lance. We have to go back to to San Francisco. We started the show in San Francisco, so, you know, this has come really? full circle now. Yes. <laughs> Talking about a great band called the Bionics. Yep. It's very cool. Reggae, funky, blues, rock, and uh, Latin music. Yeah. So we go to, we'll go to San Francisco. So uh, I'm collecting all these places that we need to go. So he went to New York City, too. He was in New York City, San Francisco. He was all over. Uh De Grazia was kind of a homebody, and he he stuck close to 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 Tucson. Uh, but you know he did get around, and they did travel a little bit. Um, as he got older, they they tend to stay. They tended to stay put more. But uh, mm. you know, in the early days, they they moved around. Mm. I want to come mm. see both exhibits, and both exhibits, uh, De Grazia Downtown and De Grazia Paints the Jungle. Um, they are the opening reception is September sixth, Friday, September sixth. Ooh, so if we get there for the opening reception, will we get to have wine? <laughs> oh, absolutely, absolutely. Well, I, I hope you guys can come. That would be yeah, really you never nice. Know. I know. We'll have to get. We're supposed to go to Kentucky. Then, um, yeah. As we turn around, let's see what we can do. We'll. I'll keep you posted. We might still be in Tennessee, but if anything, we will definitely come out and see this on our way through. Um, We'll come and see the new exhibit. Uh, But I also wanted to touch base. So the last time you were on the show, you were on talking about uh, Ted DeGrazia's relationship with editor Raymond Carlson from the Arizona Highways magazine, and that exhibit is also on display until January 29th. So all three of these. But how is that? How is that going? Because that's something really close. The Arizona Highways Magazine is, you know, it's known worldwide. It's one, to me, it's a beautiful, beautiful publication. And, you know, how's that been going uh, for the yeah, local? Very well. It's it's been really well accepted. Uh, a lot of people have come to bit to to see it, and uh, we're really happy with it. Uh, Arizona Highways uh, really did a spectacular. June issue of uh, of DeGrazia's work and all the work that's been in Arizona highways over the years, and they they did his history, and um, it was very nice, very nice. They just did a beautiful job. Mm. Couldn't be happier. Oh, that's awesome. I want to see that too. We definitely so we need to get there before January, no matter what happens, Nancy. We got to see mm-hmm. these exhibits and um, and get out there and and get going. Now the other thing is. The mission, uh, you know, we've talked about this over the, the last couple of years, um, the fire that affected the mission. Uh, the mission's pretty much restored, but then I know you had to go through, you know, the red tape paperwork that government likes the to do. The red tape is done. Really? We wow, haven't cool. had an official opening yet, but it is open for people to come into. We're going to, uh, we're going to, you know, advertise it a little bit and, and uh, uh Get get some people cool. out uh, that that have wanted to come out for a long time. So yeah, no, we're we're back in the saddle. Uh, very happy about awesome. that. That is excellent. 
So, so the mission is back open, everyone. And Ginny did an amazing job when we were there. Uh, so she, and it's interesting because she was like doing the restoration work, but not really restoring it. She was just kind of taking care of the, the of the murals in there. Inside. Well, uh, she was just painting around them. We we had yeah. to replaster the walls and replaster the adobe where the the uh, the fire uh, had destroyed the murals and. Uh, where it was very drab and gray, the new new plaster, uh, we had her uh, paint with a dry brush and came out really nice. So the the, the mission, uh, we we lost a lot of the murals, but uh, it's still pu- beautiful in there and very colorful and uh, very peaceful. So mm. people uh, people are going to really enjoy it to have it back open. Awesome, awesome. I'll, I can't wait. Everybody, again, uh, the website is degrazia.org, uh, just a, a beautiful place to go spend some quality time. There's 10 acres to explore. There's the house. You can go to where DeGrazia lived um, and also, go, of course, go through the gallery, which itself is, to me, the, every time you're there, I, I see something new, and there's just unique things in regards to the, the architecture of it being an adobe building, having cactus, choya cactus floors, you know, there's there's no place like the Grazia Gallery in the sun at all. It's, cool. This is one of those unique treasures of Tucson. Uh, so degrazia.org, and also uh, they're on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram to keep up with everything. Uh, Lance, before you go, we're going to play Sunset Steps. Uh, so this is uh, this is Domingo's song, right? Domingo de Grazia, uh, Ted's Correct. Uh, son. Okay, his music. And it's off of the album, Please Remember Me. And so it's kind of like a combination between Domingo, uh, his music, and then Ted's music that you found the the music and and had, uh, is it the jazz orchestra that came in and recreated the the music? Yeah, the Tucson Jazz Academy uh, arranged it and and, uh, put it together and did a beautiful job. Oh, it's an awesome album. Along with Domingo. Yeah, Domingo is like, he's he's a good guitarist, man. Everyone, you're Mm going to hear it now. We like to play it. And, you know, we're playing the music. Um, you know, just because his music, because uh, Priscilla requested this, because we know how much <laughs> Domingo loves mm-hmm. Priscilla, our big mm-hmm. sock monkey. And, uh, you know, they have a little thing going on. Yeah, they they really like each other. And Domingo especially <laughs> loves Priscilla. <laughs> Not He looks at her like a clown, you know. It's, it's, you know, it's interesting. But Lance, the other day, Nancy and I were in this gothic jail. The only gothic jail in the country, and they hanged two people in there, and it's like a spiral staircase that you go up, so it's kind of like a lighthouse, and they have Uh this noose hanging down and everything. It was creepy, really creepy. We go around, we do this, and we go next door to do an interview and record an interview, and the visitor bureau has over 3,000 dolls, a collection of dolls, 3,000 dolls. So could you imagine Domingo being surrounded by those, like a bunch of Priscillas, 3,000 of them? He'd, he'd, he'd fall in love. He'd be, More so than he already is. He'd be smitten. And, and Priscilla, Priscilla would be heartbroken. Okay. Yes, she's not hey, allowing listen, that the, to happen. The next time we do this, it's only fair that I drag him over here and make him do this with yes. me. He hasn't oh. been on in a while. Oh yeah, it's time. No, it's time. It, it, yeah, I think we'll have to do it in person when we come back through. Okay. And that All way, right. you know, Priscilla and Domingo can have their own, you know, special time together. Their reunion. <laughs> yeah, their quiet time. <laughs> he's he's so gonna kill us. He's so gonna kill us for this. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> that uh, happens. So but we'll you to... know, he's excited because he knows Priscilla will return. That's it. That's oh, absolutely. It. He <laughs> talks about her all the time. Oh, of course. I know. It's, it's nothing better to do than that, right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. No, Domingo's doing good things. Domingo's doing some awesome things for Tucson. So look him up and see what good stuff he's doing. So here it is. Uh, Lance, we're going to play Sunset Steps. We miss you. It's good to hear your voice, and we'll see you soon. Thank you, guys. Have a good time. All right. You take you. care and behave yourself. <laughs> yeah, right. Thank you. See you later. Here it is, everybody. Bye-bye. Sunset Steps. Bye-bye. Go to degrazia.org. Bye. Bye-bye.